St. Louis PD is currently investigating a series of burglaries. Isolating only burglaries, we can see them here sorted in time, on the, which is measured on the vertical axes. We have January 2004 at the top and March 2004 at the bottom. Now, you know, in some of the reports of burglaries that we've received, a suspect has been seen driving away in a white van with tinted windows. I'm going to enter that into search field here and isolate just instances where a burglary has occurred where a suspect has been seen driving away in a white van with tinted windows. In my time series chart here, which reports the number of burglaries which have occurred in each day, I can see that some of these days have pink highlights. What that indicates is on these days, a burglary has occurred where a suspect has been seen driving away in a white van with tinted windows. Let's just isolate these crimes. When I isolate only crimes fitting this description, I can see that they occur within a small geographic region, about under six miles, and that they tend to cluster in time. If I sort this by day of week, I can see that most of these crimes happen in one day. This cluster happens only on Tuesday, this cluster only happens on Monday, and the final cluster happens on Wednesday. So what we've isolated here are burglaries that happen around the same time within a fixed geographic region and are all committed by a suspect driving a white van with tinted windows. There's a high likelihood that these have all been committed by the same suspect. So let's aggregate these events as if they were committed by the same person. Let's call this suspect simply white van with tinted windows. Now two things will happen. First, all of our events will now be linked by an entity trail, which shows this suspect's movement patterns over time. Second, when I look at my entities list now, it has white van with tinted windows listed as an entity. This allows me to perform further analysis. For example, we know our suspect likes to hit up multiple locations within a, within a 6 kilometer and 12 hour time frame. With that information, we can use GeoTimes pattern finding tools. For example, let's take the proximity detector and let's see within 12 hours and within 6 miles if the white van with tinted windows was within close proximity to burglaries. After selecting these parameters, I can run this filter and see all cases when this is true. We now have a list of other reported burglaries and attempted burglaries which our suspects may be involved in.